Hi, my name is Livio Laro, and I have been in the beverage, cocktail, and bartending world for just about 30 years. I started my career in southern Italy in Ischia, which is a beautiful island in the Mediterranean. Uh, it was right there where I started my passion for bartending, and I really loved the cocktail stations that were made in Italy and across Europe because rather than always having to make drinks up here and having to rely only on your little tiny rail, we had an extra area where you can make cocktails or add any of the tools that you need that was much more useful. Uh, how did I pull that off? I basically set up the bar as I used to set up my bar in Italy. And ice, even as a left-handed person, would always go to the right hand. By putting ice to your right hand and to the right of your center station, uh, and of course a nice little uh, speed rail to the to uh, in front of it, uh, you now have your center area, which is at your disposal to do a whole lot of other stuff. Let's face it, ice is important. 95% of the drinks have ice in them. However, ice is a one-trick pony. It can only be ice. And so I took the area that was occupied by ice and I turned it into an area that is a hell of a lot more than a one-trick bone pony. So let's start right here. I'm going to go with the middle first. In the middle, I have this beautiful area where I can cut, obviously, or make drinks on. This area is really neat because it's closer to the bartender. It's not far away. The scupper rail is, you know, about 18 inches away and it requires for the bartender to lean forward. Um, the scupper rail is also up at 42 inches, whereas my main station is at 32. What changes with that? If I take my shaker and I put it here, and then I grab a random bottle and I pour it, look at my posture. It's perfect. If I'm doing it over here, now look at my posture. Not only is my six pound arm and my six pound bottle away from my body, but my elbow is actually higher than my shoulder. That is putting a lot of pressure on the lower back. So uh, I'm hoping that the Euro bar will be embraced by the industry because I really do feel like it solves a lot of problems. Now let's talk about the rest of the center station here. Uh, I have a dump sink right there at, uh, at arm's reach and I have these nice little rinser this rinser here is what you use after you've dumped your uh, the contents of your shaker just to rinse your shaker tin or your jigger or whatever you're trying to rinse that doesn't necessarily need to be washed. On top of that, I have an iced garnish area. There's five different garnishes. You can add these uh, restaurant type of pans in them. And I have the two inches because here, this is more of my demo bar. Uh, but if you have a, a real bar setting and you want to put the four inch ones, you can fit them in and you will have plenty of iced garnishes for the whole shift. Um, moving on to the left of this, I have my dipper well. Now my dipper well is rectangular, it's not round, and it's all partitioned out so that in it I have room for knife, actually not only one knife, but two knives. Uh, I have my uh, space for one or two julep strainers, one or two hawthorn strainers, one or two fine mesh strainers, and then I have this longer area here where you can put taller tools such as your tongs or your bar spoon or your muddler. Um, right below that, but still right here at arm's reach, so right here, I have a trash chute, and in the trash chute, of course, I can get rid of trash. Um, this area, this is also pretty important because most of the times, the trash can is far from the bar and the bartender needs to go back and forth in order to um, throw the trash away, not in this case here. And then last but not least, to the left hand, I have a juice well. And why do I have that, that? Why do I have the juice well to the left hand? Well, similar story is if I have my right hand bottle here and I have my left hand bottle here, I can make my drinks stop and put them away and it makes it for a lot of speed of service. Um, just below here, I have a little area where there's space for two uh, towels. One towel would be for your hands. The other towel would be to wipe the bar. Of course, there's also uh, an area right where the dump sink is with some sea fold napkins. Uh, to the area below here, I also have some room for soda bottles or bitters. 
And um, the best thing about this bar is that it is completely customizable in that every single one of these pieces that I've talked about can be configured however you want. You want your ice at the left hand? You go, baby. Um, I do hope you enjoyed this video on the Euro bar. I'm going to leave some info below on where you can find more information about it. And thank you for watching.